Okay, here's my jet ski, and uh, it's a 2002 model. It's a Yamaha, and uh, it's an FX Cruiser, and it's a F140. But uh, I have these, uh, just like everybody else that has a jet ski, you have these, uh, uh, I want to call them push rods, but uh, they call them cables. Um, this is uh, this is the steering right here. I just replaced I just replaced this one. Okay, this one this is the tilt. It's to to, to tilt the nozzle, and it is stuck. It's frozen. It's not moving. This one's uh, working. It is a uh, this is the um, the reverse. This is uh, it controls the reverse bucket. Okay, so now when I first got this ski, I used to put marine grease right here and instinctively i was doing the right thing because uh, it helps slow down the uh the rusting and the uh, stiffness what happens is this is underwater and uh, I, I use this ski in, in salt water and so what happens is the salt water works its way between this rod and this housing and it gets inside there and it causes corrosion and it causes it to stick. It's like this one right here. Okay, this one's stuck now. So it, it won't move. Um, and uh, so it's this cable right here. It's probably this end of the cable. And there's a way to lubricate these cable by, by putting pressure, 30 pounds of pressure, putting a fixture on here and putting 30 pounds of pressure on a, on a lubricant and pushing it in to these cables. Uh, inside the shield and it, it works. I, there's uh, videos on YouTube on how to do that. Now this one, um, I decided not to do that uh, because I don't have a compressor for starters, but I have seen where the, you can use a, a very, uh, uh, not a cheap one, but a, an expensive bicycle pump to instead of a compressor, but heck you might as well buy a, comp a cheap compressor as, as opposed to a expensive bicycle pump. But uh, here we go. This um, for my jet ski, this was hard to get right here, this part, because I think Yamaha has quit making them. And, uh, but they'll put them on back order for you, the parts houses, but it'll be forever if you get it, and you probably won't. So I bought uh, mine uh, on the aftermarket from uh, SBT, I think it is. Uh, I think that's the correct uh, letters. Uh, I started to buy an engine from them years ago, but it turned out I didn't need it. So... But if they're building engines, I figured, well, uh, they're building these uh, good, high quality, good quality uh, parts here. And uh, I'm pointing to this, but I'm talking about the whole subassembly. It goes all the way to the steering column. And, and this now works just like it did when it was new. I mean, that's totally free, uh, very easy to move. And of course, salt water will get in it and it will, uh, it will rust up again. Uh, Next time, I'm probably going to try the method of uh, putting the pressure on the lubricant and pushing it in. And uh, I may do that uh, on this one. I may do that on this one. And I may end up doing it on this one. I don't know. But uh, anyways, that's what it looks like. And uh, I, again, I will put marine grease right here. And same on all three of them. Marine grease, marine grease. And slow down the process of corrosion. So anyways, this is the same thing on the jet, on the Yamaha boats, the same, same method of control. So away we go.